explanation video with some new information that we kind of got from Green the Only on Twitter yesterday. I'll post a link in the description to the information that Green posted, but basically what it was was Green ha has access to a car with some information and, and kind of dissecting the, the way that Tesla puts the, these cars together. And some of the settings he exposed showed a lot of the insights into how city streets is being built out. And as a uh, FSD beta tester, you know, we're out here um, trialing the software so that the cars can collect information and the disengagements and information we report using the snapshot button is collected and sent back to Tesla. And that's that's kind of the arrangement we have here. There, there is no special exchange of information between Tesla and myself other than through the car. And, and that's the way the program is designed. But what I think is new and uh, helping me wrap my head around the testing I'm actually doing was seeing the controls that Green showed us pictures of uh, last night and mostly what those controls are for those of you that are that are a little bit familiar with neural networks and machine learning machine learning basically has a bunch of rules uh, to help analyze information and then uh, the developers can give a certain amount of weight to different types of rules so that the outcome or the decision or the behavior or the best decision is chosen according uh, to the weights given to the system a lot of those dials or uh, functionality capabilities that we saw were essentially uh, boundaries or decisions and rules in the machine learning uh, system uh, that can, can be controlled that can be controlled by Tesla and the developing development team. What I think is interesting is those controls could be set on the car level, and all of the beta testers today could be operating with different weights. We just don't know. So where I was under the impression that build 2024 15.4 was the same for all beta testers, and while the software version is, the settings on each of those controls that you saw exposed could very well be different for each of us. We don't know that. They could all be the same, but they could be different. But as a viewer watching these videos, I think it's important to understand that if they are different, then the outcomes for each of us could be different and they're not worth comparing against each other. It's more of a comparison of how the car behaved with what under the hood uh, weights were set on all of the controls that they currently have access to. So that, that was the point I wanted to try to make is that the number of beta testers that are out here is relatively small. We all have the same build in software. Construction zones giving a little bit of a, a hiccup with that merge there. And I think that it's important to understand we're giving input to the system, and that's Tesla's been very clear on that. We're giving data to the system with the information that they have visibility into of how the car behaved with the weights that are assigned. And that is what each individual beta tester does not have information into. I have no idea the uh, sliders or the weights given to the rule set for this Model Y I'm driving right now. And I guess I mentioned Model Y right then, just then. Um, those settings may need to be different for different cars based on the weight of the car, the acceleration of the car, uh, perhaps the viewing angles of the car. Um, and the number of uh, inputs that the beta testers are giving them or the development team inside Tesla giving the car um, needs to be tweaked for e each uh, vehicle. So back to my point earlier about the settings, you know, in the, in the car settings menu, we actually have a, a few systems that are exposed for us. So for example, you can set aggressive lane changes, you can set chill mode, you can set a lot of those other sort of things. I think those are buttons and, and good examples of uh, user settings Tesla has given the user access to so that we do have a little bit of control over how our vehicle behaves. So perhaps in the future, there could be a setting um, that controlled the aggressiveness on unprotected left turns. It could perhaps control the amount of creep given at a stop sign to have visibility. I doubt most of those settings will end up in the UI, otherwise the UI would be very, very complex. Um, 
but I think you can start to make correlations with the current builds that we have in public and some of the settings that we did see exposed in the city streets driving for FSD beta. So this is just a simple drive here in Orlando uh, for those of you interested in, in where I am driving. Uh, I'm driving from Semron Boulevard over to Cargo Road um, where I work uh, a few days a month. In any case, I hope that conversation is helpful. Uh, I'm very, very interested in what Green uh, has exposed. I think that his work um, is, is beneficial not only to the community but into the passion about how these cars are evolving. Um, I don't think Green is doing anything wrong. Uh, I don't know if Tesla feels the same way about that, but I, me personally as a beta tester, I am intrigued about what's under the hood here and how uh, this system we're testing is evolving and the controls they have. Uh, personally, I think it would have been helpful to understand a little bit of information uh, if it is true that the beta software is the same, but the weights are, are, are different for the users. Many of us on the beta testing team sus suspected that. Um, but we had no information to be sure. In any case, that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoy the video.